The Southeast Asian country of Thailand, bordered by Burma, Laos, and Cambodia, is home to 65 million people, 95% of whom are Buddhist. Nearly 5% are Muslim, and less than 1% are Christian. Thailand is a relative island of freedom in this very dangerous and spiritually dark part of the world. In the midst of this darkness, the light of Jesus Christ is shining through the ministries of TLCC, the Thailand Lahu Christian Church. The Lahu are hill tribe people who live throughout the mountains of northern Thailand, China, Burma, Cambodia, Laos, and Vietnam. Of the 100,000 Lahu living in Thailand, about 30% are Christian. In 1999, over 30 Christian Lahu churches in northern Thailand joined together to form TLCC. It is their desire to spread the gospel to other hill tribe people in Thailand and beyond to neighboring countries. Harvest Home, one of the children's ministries of TLCC, is a children's home orphanage nestled in a fruit orchard about two miles outside of Prao, a small city at the foot of the mountains two hours north of Chiang Mai. The home offers a safe Christian environment where the gospel of Jesus Christ is taught and modeled so the children might come to know, love, and follow Jesus. A home where orphans and poor hill tribe children can live while attending Thai public schools. The hill tribe people have few educational or work opportunities in their villages and are trapped in a cycle of poverty. The hill tribe people dream of a better life for their children. In order for the children to get an education, they must come out of the mountains and live near a city where there are Thai public schools. Thus, Harvest Home was started in May 2009. Lahu villagers who were eager to see their children get an education and have a better future built temporary bamboo structures with thatched roofs and dirt floors. This is what Harvest Home looked like in February 2010. The two dorms, kitchen dining building, and two toilet bathrooms were dilapidated to the point of being beyond repair. The deteriorated bamboo walls and thatched roofs provided virtually no privacy or protection from wind and rain, snakes, and other rodents. Having very little money in the building fund, TLCC faced the real possibility of shutting the home down. However, God had a different plan, and through His amazing grace and provision, Harvest Home was rebuilt and improved over a two-year period to what we see today. The bamboo buildings have been replaced by two concrete block dorm buildings with fiberglass roofs and two separate bathroom buildings. The boys' dorm houses dining rooms and kitchens as well as quarters for the pastor manager and his wife who cooks and teaches. The girls' dorm has space for the chapel area and additional staff. The children sleep in large dorm rooms with bunk beds covered by mosquito netting. Each child has a small plastic drawer unit where they keep their few belongings and clothing is hung on shared bamboo poles around the room. The children are responsible for keeping their dorm in order and washing and ironing their clothing. Other jobs include washing their own dishes, helping with cooking and cleanup, gardening, pulling weeds and cutting the grass, feeding the animals and helping each other as needed. This is in keeping with one of the goals of Harvest Home, that the children will grow up to be Christian adults who will be self-supporting and will reach out to help each other. The children are the greatest asset of Harvest Home. They represent the future of the Lahu Christian Church. It is hoped that in the future, Harvest Home can be more financially self-sufficient through developing the fruit trees, growing fish in the pond, raising chickens and pigs, vegetable gardening, and growing natural edible plants from the jungle. The 25 to 30 children who live at Harvest Home range in ages from 7 to 22. While about half of the children are orphans, all of them come from poor families. God is using Harvest Home in the lives of these children to bring them to a saving faith in Jesus Christ and prepare them for a better future where they will be the lights of Jesus Christ in the spiritually dark area of the world. God has accomplished much at Harvest Home and there is still much to be done. 
we invite you to partner in this ministry, first by your prayers and secondly by your financial support. One-time gifts and monthly sponsorships are needed to continue this work. Please contact us for information on how you can help.